Every internal practice has two aspects. There is always the foundation and activation. Most people focus primarily on foundation. Foundation involves the body. It is what your body has to shape itself as and what your body has to do in terms of a visible, structural, physical process to set the stage for the energy activation, which is the second phase. Unfortunately, most of it gets most of us get stuck in the foundation phase and we obsess about the physical body and the structure and angles and torque and all that. And we never seem to move our mind over to the activation phase. The foundation phase exists only to provide the basis for activation. Otherwise, you're like a Lamborghini owner who's got a beautiful car in their driveway, half a million dollar car, but they haven't got a key, they can't turn it on, and there it sits. You know, you could wash the car, you could admire it, but it's not the same thing as taking it out on the highway. Now I'm going to show you a very simple practice that integrates several things that are in my books, also takes it one step further, and illustrates this difference between foundation on the one hand, the visible, visible physical mechanism, versus energy activation, which is what you do with your mind. But even the mental part isn't the goal. The goal is to experience the energy. First experience it, then learn to control it, then learn to intensify it. Remember the mudra that started with the pinky and went to the thumb. Let's forget the thumb for now and let's just work on this part. It is engaging the soles of your feet and not as a concept or imagination or philosophy. You are feeling it as something that's hitting the soles of your feet and passing up the movement right through your senses to your pinky. So, if we just did this as an arm raise, say, okay, everybody, raise your arm, inhale, you're one with the universe, and now come down. That's not the way, because you're not going to get this mudra effect, this very specific effect that I'm talking about. You're holding this charge in two systems, both of them. You come over, maybe bend down, and just touch that thing gently. If you can hold the charge through that much, you'll understand she needs. You may not be able to do it for all these, you know, swallow, monkey, and everything, but you'll understand the point. This is why they have all these crazy animals and stuff. To challenge you to see, can you hold the charge while doing all this goofy, crazy stuff? That is the real part. It's not, people think, you know, Shinji is like, okay, the guy in the bar does this, and so I have to swallow and monkey and do that. You know, it's not that way. It's just to challenge you to see, can you hold the charge under all these bizarre conditions? <laughs> This is only the A, but we've got B and C. We need to do the forward license to go back. So what we're going to have to do is consciously relax the off leg. In other words, the off leg now must be tofu. 